Anybody here from San Francisco? Every year, the APAC Policy Conference shows the strength and the vitality of the unbreakable bonds between the United States and Israel. This year, 18,000 strong activists and community leaders of diverse experience, young and old, Jewish and otherwise, Democratic and Republican, many voices speaking to one mission. Let us all recognize the future leaders of our nation. I understand about 4,000 students are here. Let's acknowledge the students. I want to especially, once again, acknowledge the delegation from my home state of California. Don't be shy. And my native state of Maryland. Anybody here from Maryland? As I bring up the state of Maryland, uh, I want to say something about how I was introduced uh, to the U.S.-Israel relationship. When my, I, before I was even born, my father was in the Congress of the United States, Thomas D'Alessandro, Jr. He was a... Okay, let's hear it for Dad. <laughs> he was, as a little, boy, uh, little teenager, a Shabbat Goy. So he spoke Yiddish. He spoke Yiddish. So as he grew up in that, and he was a, an orator, he was a great speaker and all the rest, and he had a love for the idea of a, a Jewish state in what was then called Palestine. So when he was older and he went uh, to Congress, this was his, one of his big issues. He worshipped at the shrine of Franklin Roosevelt. He was a New Deal Democrat. He worshipped at the shrine of Franklin Roosevelt. But he disagreed with him on two very strong points. One was on the treatment of Jewish people in Europe that he wanted to call more attention to. And two, okay, he, the second was the establishment of a Jewish state in what was then known as Palestine. 